Hi, my name is Karina Morocco with the EBD Group and we are here at Bio Europe 2019 in Hamburg. Today I'm joined by Louis Boom. He is the Chief Scientific Officer of Bioceros, which is part of Ball Paul Pharma Biologics. So can you tell me a little bit more about the two companies that you work for and how they're related? So, so uh, Bioceros and Paul Pharma Biologics are legally separated companies, but they belong to the same group, the Paul Pharma Biologics groups. Uh, Bioceros is located in the Netherlands, does early development, make the cell lines of, of, of our products and for our clients, does early development. Then we have a, a, a facility nearby the Baltic Sea in Poland, Gdansk, where we do um, uh, uh, late stage development. We have GMP, um, uh, two times thousand liter, uh, mammalian, 500 liter um, microbial. And we are currently building a huge facility nearby the capital of Poland, Warsaw, uh, where we can have commercial manufacturing, both for our own products, but also for our clients. And so what is the business model for Paul Pharma Biologics? The business model uh, comprises as a, 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 as a hybrid business model. Yeah, exactly. What we do, yeah. um, on one side, we are a CDMO um, uh, to serve our clients, but we also work on our own products um, uh, and, and, and try to get those further ahead. Um, and, and one of the things that, that happened after, uh, during the last few weeks is that we had an agreement on one of our biosimilar products uh, with Sandos, uh, where they do uh, worldwide commercial commercialization of our Netlusumab program. We also have a, a, a microbial product that we partnered with Coherus last week. And, and these two um, uh, agreements really validate um, uh, the, the things that we are doing in Poland. Paul Pharma is not so well known yet as a CDMO, but um, uh, clearly these two uh, uh, agreements show that large companies in this world uh, are, 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 that have to do, have do, uh, done due diligence for, on, on these programs are satisfied by what we are doing. And so what makes that one-stop shop CDMO unique to, compared to others? I, I, I think I, I've, I've seen a lot on, uh, also here on Bio where people uh, present uh, the, the capacity that they have, the history that they have. Um, uh, uh, what we try to, uh, uh, where we try to be unique is in, in our novel technologies. We have uh, two novel technologies um, uh, uh, on our own platform, which is also uh, uh, very nice on itself because your own platform means that you leverage all the knowledge on your own platform. Thereby we developed Spot and Slim technologies. Spot is really to increase specific productivity of the cells. Um, whereas most people uh, try to get more cells in a bioreactor, we try to get less cells in the bioreactor, but let those cells produce more per cell. And in that aspect, um, uh, I, I teach my students that we are like the Uber of bioprocessing. We have really disturbing technology. We go to lower cell densities. Then we have the slim technology that me really makes your process much more efficient, by which it, it, it uses less feed, but more importantly, less oxygen. Yeah, so that's really interesting. So in that kind of hybrid uh, business model, what kind of products are you working on? Yeah, so, so we work on a couple of programs. Um, uh, as I told you, um, we work on, on uh, niche biosimilars, illustrated by the, the, two, uh, the two that I just mentioned, that we did a deal with Sandos and Coherus. Uh, uh, besides that, we have uh, uh, the next program is an Ustekinumab biosimilar um, uh, uh, that we are working on. We have a couple of early processes uh, for the checkpoint inhibitor antibodies uh, like ipilimumab, nivolumab and pembrolizumab uh, that we are ready to out license um, uh, 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 that produce really high levels of, of, of the antibodies and besides that we also work on, uh, on NBEs, so novel biologics focusing one on the activation of neutrophils uh, which is the most ignored cell in the immune system uh, and plays a role in many autoimmune diseases um, and we have a novel checkpoint inhibitor uh, uh, based on, on the success of, of the current checkpoint inhibitors. Yeah, and so you actually mentioned that you had a new Warsaw facility. Can you expand a little bit more about yeah, that? This, this, this Warsaw facility um, uh, uh, is really uh, uh, to produce the material for our own products, but certainly also for our, our CDMO clients. We will start uh, uh, with four times 2,000 liter, 
fully disposable technology and, and that will readily be, be expanded to eight times 2000 liter and even can be expanded to 12 times 2000 liters. So really a commercial manufacturing site for our clients. Uh, besides the mammalian, uh, we, we have now 500 liters in our Cadence facility. That is for now sufficient, but we also uh, thinking of expanding the microbial uh, capacity into the, the, the Warsaw facility, where we can also do then, um, uh, besides mammalian uh, service for our CDMO clients, also microbial services for our CDMO clients. Yeah, that's great. So congratulations on that new location. Um, Thanks so very much. If people want to reach you, how can they do that? Uh, so so they, they, they can either reach out um, uh, uh, to Paul Pharma Biologics or they can uh, reach out to, to uh, uh, BioCeros. Uh, they can reach out to me personally um, uh, uh, so that I can bring them uh, in contact with the right people also at Paul Pharma Biologics. It, this, although it seems like two companies, we are one group. Um, the owner is the same person. So it's, it, 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 legally uh, we are two companies but we are supposed to, to, to be one company. Great, well thank you so much for talking to me. Today. Thank you very much.